Hi, this is Meeta Shetty, Senior Analyst and Fund Manager at Tata Mutual Fund. Last two years have been extremely challenging for most of us. But thanks to the IT sector, many of our problems got sorted seamlessly. No wonder the IT sector has been one of the best performing sectors since the pandemic. Leading market research organizations expect the global IT spending to grow at nearly 8% CAGR for next three years versus about just 4% growth in the pre-pandemic years. Digital adoption has seen a quantum leap since the pandemic and is likely to remain elevated for the next few years. This increasing use of digital has a multiplier effect on the reach and thus the growth of the segment. The rise of smartphone users, internet users, data consumption, online payments all have led to a faster adoption. And not to forget, convenience is the biggest benefit for customers. Case in point, UPI. It has made the payments hassle-free and it comes at no cost. On the other hand, super apps capture and help fintechs to get access to the buying behavior, cash flows, saving patterns and credit history of the customer, which helps to shape the business. Digital maturity of consumers, adoption of e-commerce by brands, availability of wide range of products and convenience all have led to rise of e-commerce. Let's look at the food delivery space. The rationale of growth of food delivery and cloud kitchen lies in the changing consumer behavior, increasing participation of women in workforce, coupled with benefits of cost and flexibility to the restaurants. Q-commerce have their formats set up around micro warehouses, stocking of high demand items and using their e-commerce delivery mechanism to bring the delivery experience very close to a cab hailing experience in this fast-paced lifestyle. Healthcare segment is seeing increased digital adoption with all health information records integrated and shared seamlessly with multiple stakeholders for online consultation, medicine deliveries and much more. Advanced tech and gamification has improved the learning delivery methods to any time and anywhere. The digital layer is getting added to almost all industries and we have seen this, it can support the traditional business very well. In some cases, we are also seeing digital front displacing the traditional business. Digital is a very interesting space. Although it is still evolving, especially the platform companies, we believe this segment will see its own set of winners and losers. But the winners here can be multi-year growth opportunities. Being asset light models, these companies can also generate higher ROEs in the longer run. Through Nifty India Digital Index, we aim to capture the growth of the digital companies. Thank you. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.